when you use Curator, typically you don't have to worry about locks and stuff like that, but sometimes, you know, I've been using it for quite some time and this is the first time that I have to look into this. And this was a problem that I had with Tomcat that, that actually stopped working in my system and Polo was kind enough to, you know, peek into my machine in late in the evening and help me. But, but I learned from him ways and the way he looks at locks and I want to pass along what I learned learn from him. So the place where the logs in QReader are, are bar logs, you probably knew that, and if you do an ls QReader in here, you're going to find, you know, several uh, logs in here. QReader.error and QReader.logs are the, the ones that seem to be the most important. Those were the ones he was looking for. So, uh, and this, you, you we all knew this, but let's start with the basics. If we do a grep into uh, curator logs, well, we need to put the character that we're looking for. So let's say that we are looking for ECS EP for the event processor or, e or EC for the event collector. And, uh, and then you put the name of the file curator.log, right? And if you it, uh, you see, it finds all all those all those instances. Uh, so, if you want to make sure that, or you have a spaces, or you know, let's say that you you want to find something on spaces. What I learn is that if you always put this between double quotes, you are not going to have problem even if you have spaces uh, in it. And if you put also dash i for case insensitive then you are sure that you're going to get all those instances regardless of whether you are misspelling uh, in terms of the upper case in case of it uh, what you're looking for if you also want to see what is slightly before this thing shows up and slightly after if you put the dash capital b before and capital a after then you hit that then you're going to get not just the log that we found before, but also two lines above and two lines after. If there's a lot of information in what we are seeing, so if we combine what we just did and we pipe it using the less command, that is, puts us in kind of a VI editor mode, even though it's not writing to any file, with the option IS and case insensitive. And these two, I don't remember exactly what Polo did, but this has to do with the line numbers. Makes it a lot easier to look at the line numbers. So so when you hit that, you are kind of an, on, in a VI. And notice that these lines are very long. It gives you the line number in here. And then if you want to move to the right, you, you do is move the cursor to the right, and then you get the... It's actually very nice because it doesn't wrap around. It's a lot easier to look at the content and if you want to find something in here let's say that I'm looking for I want to look for the word Akamai you hit enter and you can put double quotes in there here you you find them right I can you know scroll up and see all the instances of that it's a lot easier to find the needle in the haystack and these uh, long uh, logs you exit from here the same way as on BI with Q as in quit now if you use the command tail dash f or just tail f, which is an abbreviation for it, in curator dot log, you're gonna get, you know, the everything that is coming up onto that file, line after line, and of course that's a lot of information. That's not uh, very conducive. But if you want to catch something specific, again, you use our friend that we just made the friend grep. So we're going to be piping the content that this is coming up and let's say that we do a grep and let's make it dash i to eliminate case sensitivity. I'm going to put here Akamai. Right? And I do not know whether I'm going to get anything uh, or not. But as you can see, there's nothing happened with Akamai in here. Well, now, oops, it, it did. So you actually see it in here. I hope you never have to use this, but just in case, you can go back to this video and, and learn those uh, simple commands to look for what you want to investigate in the curator logs.